Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We'll carry on with the story from last time and uh, see what this second piece opens up. Hopefully it's going to be an Imperious Curse. And then the last one I think is going to be a Vada Kedavra, the Killing Curse. But let's find out. Sebastian. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Oh, I like trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? No. All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Yeah, Lodgok. Um, I'm going to tell him because he knows about everything else. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do. But not all goblins Not are... all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? I no, know. Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Wow. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Uh -oh. uh, hopefully that hasn't knackered us getting any more curses. Uh, before I do anything, let's uh, do that. Should we get move gear? I didn't even realise. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, dragon spectacles, they look nice. Let's get rid of them. Uh, ha. Bit of scarf. No. Oh, we got a bit of everything, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so no from me. Oh, um. If I do log box. Uh, where's that? I thought that was here. Oh, it is. I oh, know it's not. Uh, no, he said to go and do that one first, didn't he? So let's go see Amit. Actually, no, I wanted to go straight to thing because I don't want to potentially um, mess that up. Uh, have I 
we've been here before. Feldcroft, okay. We'll run down from Feldcroft, I think. Or shall we do Amit's Nah, let's do this one. If it weren't for the cost of things these days. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. How can I help you? Buy my stuff. What do you Buy have for sale? Stuff. What are we in the market for today? I'm in the market for money. Mainly yours. Over twenty K now. Have nice. I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Let's go and see if we can get this uh, Imperious guy. I'm not sure what to get rid of um, spell-wise. Expelliarmus is good because I can throw whatever they're using. No witch or wizard will be spared. Okay. Um, yeah, the top one I might get rid of. It's quite powerful though. Um, one on the left is good for setting fire to things. Bottom one for taking out. Yeah, like Couldn't this. Rock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's a Merlin stone nearby, isn't there? Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Oh, let me get the uh, fast travel point first. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As Hopefully. I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have yeah, a look. I am fairy. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Right, let's go. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? 
I didn't. No. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I was half expecting him to butt in then. Student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I'd imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In the area behind the great room which had suffered decay amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further if only the removal of objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Dementors of Azkaban. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Rebellio! Try not to lose your nerve just yet. No, that's the undead. Oh, all spiders. Actually, yeah, well, I might get rid we know of, we're not alone in here. Spelliamus. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> we're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Confirm. Revelio. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Oh, I missed that one. It's a speed of fang. Revelio. Read the world of another spider. I shall see you. Good for you. Let's get rid of the webs. Oh no. Uh. Also. Boom. Which way should we go? Revelio. Which way? Oh, okay, it didn't tell us. Uh, let's go this way. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. No, let's go the other way. Revelio! Oh, this looks bad. It's just like a main chamber or something. Maybe we should go the other way. This grass, it no longer feels like Revelio. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often pavements, and then were abandoned. Exactly. Good for you. Uh huh. Famous last words of any Rebellion. explorer and or arch archaeologist. It'll be fine. Eyes in the tomb.
I guess it is this way after all. Uh, just because I feel like something's coming in this room. I really do not save enough. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Where was that spider? Seems odd. Confringo! Revelio! That looks like it's uh, a certain way. Arrest the momentum! Oh, no. no. Um. Revelio! We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Also, Akira. Rebellion. Akira. Indonium Leviosa. Uh... I feel like I've got to go there. Rebellion. That doesn't look creepy at all. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. There's something here by the altar. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay, but research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sent something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak oak ones have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I, co I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Rebellion. Accio. Uh, I'm not finding much at the moment. I will, however, go under here first. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Uh, no. Let's go around this way first. I don't know what to do first, because I don't want it, like... What's the main quest part? Accio! That's the boss of So that's going to open this up. Is this the main quest, or...? I like this is where. Oh. Oh, I've got to speak to Sebastian, sorry. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Hmm. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. I feel like that might be the barricade, and I have to do these to get through it. Maybe. Revelio. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. What? The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. Oh, yeah. It's an unforgivable 
but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Oh, yeah. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Oh, yeah. Why did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Oh, hell yes. It's I probably know. wise to know the spell. I oh, couldn't yeah. agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Uh oh. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Uh, let me put that on there instead of that. How long does that last for? Confringo! That long, I guess. Rebellion! This place is like a maze, isn't it? Um, I want to go back to that other area. See if it'll let me. Rebellion. I need the bones from those sides there, but Lumos. Oh well, that started firing again, but it's or not. Lumos. There uh, hey, I'm not really sure what to do with that one. I guess we are going the other way then, for now. I'll see, uh, gives us some way of getting out of there.
Uh, well, this door is already open, so maybe or maybe not. I just seen what was dead there. Yeah. I'll go this way first, I think. Rebellion. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Akio. Uh, oh. I see that one. And that one opens this one up. That works. Rebellion, keep going. I need. That one. Accio. And let's do that. Let's open that one up. Guardian Leviosa. Reveal. That's the last one in. Uh, Accio. There's a chest in this one, so we'll do that one. And shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Um, Revelio. It's a weird statement, but okay. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Uh, I don't like this bits of thing coming out of there then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Never end. Rebellion. Like the big one? Because it looked like the big one was fighting itself. Or like fighting one of the other big ones. Well, I have plenty of spider fangs. Good for you. Uh, yay. Great. Thank you for that game. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Yeah, I got a big... Look at that, I got over a hundred bucks. Accio. Relics, nope. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only with a kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to release its intent uh, to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Um. Sure, that doesn't Sebastian, look terrifying. The relic. Look. Could it be? 
the note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. We should leave that relic alone, but... I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. Uh-oh. Trouble in the ranks. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Uh, no, Sebastian's right. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? Uh, sure. That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of, of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Oh, yeah. Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Oh. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Revelio. Not until I've done exploring. Can bring up.
chest. Mm. We've gone fully down the dark path now. By Imperio in uh, ominous. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. Revelio. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. Yeah, how do I get out of here? Can bring her. Lumos. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, I can't get it for everybody, I think. Um. Can bring her. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. Lumos. Is this the way out though? Question mark. comes along. Revelio. Uh, which way was I of here? This way. Ah yes. I reckon he's gonna just suddenly appear at the exit. We have to fight him. Oh my god, if we have to fight him. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. 
He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. Uh... Right, 360 meters this way. Let's go. Two down, one to go. Um, why does everything look like it's on fire? When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. Oh, don't tell me she Anne's like died. Ominous. It did only upset her. I bet the goblins are oh, attacked. No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Here I come to save the day. Kill himself. Nice. Boy! What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Oh. Stay away from her. From all of us. That is definitely going to send him down the dark side, though. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. He could have knocked her back or something, but... You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. Right, let's go and pick up all the loot. That was kind of fun, actually. I like that. Crazy to think that had happened, but the Ministry was nowhere to be seen. You'd think the Ministry would just teleport straight in, wouldn't you? And just be like, yep, no, not allowed. 
Or maybe it hasn't been done yet where you can't do that. Let's sell this first before I do anything else. Oh. No, I can't. There one there to sell it to. Hopefully he didn't die. Alright, uh, save just in case. I'll put it under that one just in case. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Blair. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Boo. Why, Sebastian? Boo. Imperio, you now or Cruciatus first, you now. Yeah, anyway. What a knock. Let's go see Poppy, I think, this time. Uh, she's in Hogsmeade, isn't she? So, let's go there. be kind of cool to go and see another dragon again. I wonder if you can get a dragon as a rideable pet. Like the Festival and the Hippogriff. Hogsmeade, here I come. Very rude to mention. Very uh, actually, before I do that, let's go have a quick look at the uh, clothing. Gee, it's just over here, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Hello, Augustus Hill. Uh, compared to what I got, is a lot better. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. 77. No, I'll take that one. 80. 200 board, but I'll take it. Oh. Uh, wasn't the glyphs, I think. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Yeah, nothing else. Twenty-one grand. I suspect nice. you have a sharp eye for fashion. Uh, I have a sharp eye for stats. Do you need to upgrade them as well, though? Uh, no, it was... Scarf and top, wasn't it? Uh, 
Uh, that I want to be the slivering scarf. Uh, cloak. Majestic as always, but. Uh, I do actually want to go to the traditional school clothes again. Let's do prefect's uniform. Why not? Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alright, let's wait for parts. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She mm. didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Sure. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. I thought, what? In the what? What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. Mm hmm. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? That's Tree true. canopies, burn marks, things like that. Mm, fair enough. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Ooh, where are we going? Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Mm -hmm. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No, it belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her my nest question. will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. I like oh, how, like, in the cutscene... Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. And I don't know if it's working now, but, like, the wind blows and the cloaks and the scarves and stuff. That's kind of cool. Nice little touch. Um, but, yeah, the other thing is... Um, we're going to do walk up to the dragon and go, Oh, here's your egg. Oh, that's where it was. There oh, she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Yeah. Let's hope she doesn't mistake us for food either. Rebellion. Sick, wondering what happened to her egg. 
and I, I have your egg. Please don't eat me. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Thank God. Let's hope it stays that way. Uh -oh. At least until we've done what we came to do. Imperial! Rebellion! Great. So much spiders. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in the Borneo. I knew you have your hopes of about fighting ring, but the true galleons are in the Acromantulas. You wouldn't believe how much violence I made a few days ago. Not to mention the Borneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. We keep in touch with each other. Rebellion. Mm. Uh, repair, I guess. There she is again. Fantastic. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Yeah. Rebellion. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Um, love great. Sheep. How lucky for us. Yeah. Uh, it is down for... Oh, okay. Just in case I need to go invisible. Watch your step. Rebellion. This does not look like a nest. This looks like a mine camp or something. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Quiet. What was that? Please don't eat me. I like the fact that I'm hiding behind the thing. I don't suppose she listened to reason. It's kind of like it's keeping tried, me there. Well Get to that opening below her. Ooh. I 
Is, is it brilliant? Rebellion. Oh, is she going to come back to us? Why is every Prepare. bridge here broken? Dragon, that's why. She's not very intelligent, is she from the Ravenclaw? Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Puppy, don't fall, don't fall. Touch your nose. I just peed myself. <laughs> that was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. And a dragon. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Okay. I wonder if she's thinking of her gran. Oh no, not her grandma. How could I have been so blind? Ooh, let's go speak to Sebastian one more time. Uh, let me just... one that we're in. I'll go to the common room for now. Uh, oop, and we've overrun a little bit this time. And... I think this is where we're going to leave today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching like and subscribe if you want to see some more and i will see you all next time bye bye